What's going on guys, Mark Sanchez here, and I got some exciting news for you. I have actually started prep for the Ghost Clash 2 in February 2023 down in Miami, Florida. I'll be competing in the 125 kilo, 275 pound weight class on the amateur day on Saturday, February 18th. And I wanted to take you guys along my prep journey so my last meet was actually August of this year. My numbers were an 815 pound squat, a 402 pound bench, and a 716 pound deadlift. So as I get more into vlogging as this prep continues, um, I kind of want to just take you guys along the ride with me um, as I prepare for this competition. Um, so for 2023, I'm already signed up for the Ghost Clash 2 in February. Um, I was hoping to get into a strongman show sometime in the summer. We'll have to see about that. And my next competition will actually be the American Pro 2. I'll be competing on the sleeve day in October. So enough talking. Let's get into the meat prep. So let's get started. Um, so I started prep actually like 18 weeks out from the actual meet. But I've been doing a lot of volume work and that's kind of boring to watch. <laughs> so 12 weeks out, it brought me to about right at the week of Thanksgiving and um, I had a basically a deload because of all the volume work I'd been doing prior and so this is actually my first set of 551 pounds um, I had actually been traveling from Colorado to Los Angeles and that was about an 18 17 hour drive for me uh, so I'm actually really surprised at how well these moved if you've ever trained at uh, Barbell Brigade they only have one um, combo rack and uh, it was currently being used at the time so when I came in here to hit squats uh, I really had to wedge in and get my hands placed where they were uh, if you noticed my grip on the bar is extremely um, different I personally have never seen it before it's just kind of what felt comfortable to me uh, back when I was like a 220 pound power lifter um, but as I've progressed and as I've gotten bigger um, it is definitely not the move anymore and I deal with a lot of bicep pains because of it so I've been actually playing around with that grip um, a lot lately so here I'm uh, back home now uh, this is my first day back in Colorado after that Thanksgiving break um, I am still in a deload and I am doing three sets of three, pause bench. I know they're not exactly the uh, longest or most dead paused bench, but these are three sets of three at 120 kilos or 265 pounds. I know, again, not sexy. Actually, my bench has been extremely terrible <laughs> up until recently. Um, but I remember I used to get made fun of a lot for having like a 700 pound deadlift, 700 pound squat, like a 200 something plus bench. Um, so yeah, so that happened. Um, so we're going to go ahead and ramp up. I have to transition and do my deadlift day uh, on Sunday. I usually pull on Fridays, but this time I had to deadlift on Sunday. We have three sets of three for 220 kilos um, or 485 pounds. Um, and the reason why I keep saying kilos is not just because powerlifting's in kilos, but actually all of my program is written in kilograms. So here we have my last set of three. And now that that deload is over, we can move on to my actual first week of st my strength block. So on Mondays I bench, um, I'll hit my top set. So here I have 170 kilos or basically 375 pounds. I hit this for a double. And then afterwards I basically do back down sets and I do two sets of four for 160 kilos or um, 352 pounds. So 
So the bicep problems actually when I'm squatting, um, they get tight and achy, but I never really have a, like an agonizing issue with them. The only time I really have an actual problem is actually when I when I um, bench press after them, um, and so that's why actually my coach has me um, benching in the beginning of the week and then squatting afterwards. And here's actually what I'm more known for, my squat. Um, something that's not super mediocre. <laughs> um, here I have three sets of three. This is my second set. Um, my first set I actually have up on my Instagram. I filmed it in a different uh, angle. Um, so you can go ahead and check that out, at Legend of Mark. But this is three sets of three for 300 kilos or 661 pounds. Um, as you can see, this is actually where I first started playing with my grip, and so I'm going to keep trying to play with that as uh, my sets move on. Um, here I am. I highly recommend Zone Smelling Salts, not sponsored by them at all, but that's literally like all the ammonia I use. I use it for all my top sets. Um, surprisingly, 661 is something that kind of has uh, like mentally blocked me. I guess it's the 300 kilo mark. Um, I always feel like I need a spotter at that point, and I feel like it's always safer to do it that way as well. Um, but as I've progressed in training, um, things that used to scare me, actually, um, I've gotten a lot lighter. And uh, with this being my third set of three, definitely feeling the fatigue, and I'm starting to slow down as my reps continue. But I will be completely honest, um, I do recall this day, and these reps felt very light <laughs> and that brings us to um today today's a sunday as i'm recording this and i came in with my buddy john sebastian uh, he's my training partner and uh, i had a top um i had a top triple of 280 kilos or 617 pounds and um, I felt extremely stiff going into today. Um, but surprisingly, as I warmed up, I kind of took my time a little bit more uh, on my warm up today, and things were absolutely flying. So, after my top triple, you can see a uh, sweet edit of that on my Instagram. Um, and then my back downs, I switched to straps. And uh, I started pulling 265 kilos for five or uh, 584 pounds for three sets of three. And I know what a lot of people are going to say about the whole straps thing, especially during deadlifts as a powerlifter. Um, for me, I've genuinely never really had a grip issue or like the bar slides or anything like that. The big thing that I've had and it's been consistent is like two or three weeks out my top deadlift single. I'll tear my hand open and it'll never heal fast enough um, for me to get ready, get my hand ready for the actual competition. So by the time I step on the platform for deadlifts, there's already just a hole in my hand uh, and I have to kind of fight through that. And so um, basically what I'm starting to do is anything under four sets or I'm sorry, four reps. I'll basically strap up, or anything over four reps, I'll basically strap up. Um, if I'm doing like sets of three or sets of four, I'll basically uh, won't use straps for my top set, uh, and then I'll strap up for the back down sets or the rest of the sets for my workout. So all in all, um, prep's going really well for the first two weeks. I'm super excited. Um, I hope to go for a 2100 total. Um, and then hopefully I'll be able to break the 400 kilo range for my squat. Well, hope you guys enjoyed watching. This is my last set of deadlifts. If you guys are interested in Norse Fitness, I am a sponsored athlete. You can use my code on their site, M-A-R-C or Mark. And you can follow me on Instagram at Legend of Mark. And that's Mark with a C. See you next week.